All right, Coach, a nice win uh, on the weekend. Uh, you guys outshot the uh, banana slugs. I think it was like 26 to 6 or something something like that. Uh, you got to be excited to see that statistic, but were you concerned at all by just watching the guys get so close to putting so many goals in? You guys could have had like six goals in the first half, and I know you missed a few. They just kind of sailed wide. Just give me your thoughts. Yeah, I'm um, not too concerned with that. You know, I would have been concerned if we hadn't produced all those chances. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, we created a lot of good, good opportunity. I think we hit the post three times so yeah um, those goals will come mm -hmm. but like I said if, if we had only created you know 12 shots I would have had a, uh, some concern but no I thought we did well you guys uh, talked about I think it was Friday when I was out there with you guys so you talked a lot about wanting to get that first shut out of the season and uh, how important was that for these guys to get it done even though it was an exhibition game but just to get that mindset that you guys can stop anybody now very important psychologically it was it was a, a win's a win that's what we wanted that was our goal going in was to get a shutout and to get a win and um, so we achieved both of those you know we, we needed to tighten things up you know against Mexico we played a very good half you know it was one one at half and uh, you know, I think uh, two one in the 65th minute and the, the game shouldn't have um, you know been a 5-1 game shouldn't have got got to that point um, but we need to needed to tighten some things up, play with a different determination, just be sharper. And um, you know, we, it's all for real now. So you have to be good, and uh, you have to be tight in the back. And we want to be a team that's very stingy defensively, um, like these teams of the past that have done so well. It, it all starts with defending, defending well. Yeah, I know coming out of the Mexico game, a lot of things you guys wanted to work on and then uh, going into this last game. Is there anything maybe still remaining that you guys still need to kind of tweak and, and work on before the first game on the road? Yeah, I mean, we need to, we need to uh, you know, learn um, how to keep the ball well while we're attacking, still developing our mentality. You know, early on in the, uh, in the preseason, we were keeping the ball a lot, passing the ball a lot, uh, but we weren't penetrating or getting behind defenses. And um, so we didn't have a whole lot of purpose to our play. We weren't dangerous enough. So what we, um, you know, wanted to really emphasize against Santa Cruz was to go forward, to be dangerous, um, to have more movement and activity. And um, you know, Cal Poly, part of being Cal Poly and in, in, in how we've played over the last few years, is we're kind of a scrappy group, you know, and we look to get forward and look to be active and pressure the ball. And uh, I saw that against Santa Cruz, which was good. Hey, coach. Uh, just kind of talk about, you know, confidence-wise, just how important it is to, to start the season off, well, the regular season. Last year you guys dropped your first four games, you know, to kind of start on a winning note and what that does for the rest of the preseason. It's real important. You know, last year, you know, I, I said, you know, it was a tough schedule for us with a young group, and it was tough. You know, we, we started, uh, you know, with four losses. I've never had that happen before. and. And we, we dug ourselves out of it. But yeah, it's real important. We go into Denver uh, this weekend. It's going to be their home opener. And we're going to fight tooth and nail to try to get a result. And um, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, who knows what the score is going to be. But you know, we, we are going to fight like it means everything to us. And we're not going to take anything for granted. We've been through um, a tough beginning before. We're going we're to fight to, to, to uh, not let that happen again. Is there anything you do from a coaching standpoint for your players, just playing in Denver and then, you know, Colorado Springs, just as far as the altitude and everything like that compared to, you know, preseason here? Does that even matter at all for you guys? Uh, people, people talk about how difficult it is to play up there, you know, against Denver and Air Force. I think Air Force just beat Stanford, you know, number, uh, number 12 in the nation. It's a very difficult place to play. If you look at their, their records, um, you know, they won all their games at home. Um, you know, so yeah, there's a there's a psychological advantage they have over there. Um, so uh, we have to deal with that. And and um, you know, I haven't played up in altitude in a few years myself. I don't know how big a factor it is, but we're flying in the night before, and we want to make sure that we get there, we're fresh and mentally ready. And um, you know, just take one half at a time. When I talked to you before, you were really high on Chris Bernardi. You know, we've had a chance to see him a couple of times. He seems to be near the ball the whole time he's out there. Just kind of talk about what he adds to the team, and you know, are you impressed with what you've seen so far? I'm very, very impressed. You know, he's he's a, an attacking player, creative player, loves to dribble at players, um, intelligent, knows what to do with the ball. 
um, and, and he's got a, he's ready to shoot, ready to attack. I mean, his first shot was an individual effort where he picked off a pass and beat a defender and shot with his left foot. Um, but he produced, uh, you know, four or five other shots cutting inside as well. So, yeah, he's a great addition for us, you know, and, um, you know, we, 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 you know, hope that he can uh, produce a handful of goals this year for us. Hey, Paul, this is a pretty cool-looking schedule, your first five games. Uh, I mean, is this, is this the way you want it? I mean, are all these teams going to be, going to be pretty much top-notch teams? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the Denver Air Force, I say, are as tough as going to Notre Dame and Indiana, quite honestly, you know, playing up there at that altitude. So uh, I feel like if we can go in here and play tough and, and you know, come out, you know, you know, realistically come out uh, 500, come out a little bit above 500, 2-2-1 two, two and one I think is very successful. Obviously, love to go 5-0, and oh, but, um, you know, that's a tough non-conference schedule. Come back home, you know, you're playing the UCLA Bruins here at home. Um, you know, uh, I think it's great preparation for the conference, and uh, that's why we, we put together this type of schedule. Did losing to the U-20 team kind of help your attendance a little bit with the Hispanics walking out of here feeling, I'd imagine, I only saw the first half, feeling pretty good about watching that match. Does that in, in turn maybe help your attendance at all a little bit and them watching you guys play? I hope we made a few fans, you know. Um, like I said, uh, I wish the score hadn't ended that way, you know, because we did throw in a lot of players there at the end um, uh, that got their feet wet with a really tough team. Um, but I thought that first half, I thought we played fine and we played well and we sh strung together some passes, some very good moments. So I think, um, I think those fans will respect that for sure. Hopefully they uh, come back again. Okay.